Applied for my extension for a B1, B2. That's a tourist visa. First one's here for tourism. Uh, no answer except receipt letter. So I'll, I will be illegal or wait. So when you submit an extension request for a B1, B2 status while you're in the United States, you're a tourist from overseas. You enter with a, with a B1 or B2, typically a B2 visa. They let you in. Typically, they give you 108 days. Um, you could file an extension if you wanted to. That's form I-539. Once you file form I-539 and you're in the system, uh, you're in a period of authorized stay. So you won't accumulate what's called unlawful presence days. And that goes, unlawful presence days, if you accumulate enough of those and leave the United States at later, um, you get a ban towards coming in for a set amount of years. However, when the case is pending, you, you're in an authorized period of stay that allows you to stay without accruing unlawful presence days, but you're still uh, illegal. You still have violate, you haven't violated your status. Uh, they, they have this special uh, circumstance you're in where if they want to, they can come still and pick you up and kick you out. But because you have a case pending, um, they don't hassle you unless you usually get like criminal history and stuff. They can do it, uh, but they don't usually bother doing that until a decision is made on your case. If it's denied, um, then they may come after you and knock at your door. Um, they can do it before if they want to. So immigration department has a lot of power in this situation, uh, but they don't enforce it as a policy until a decision is made. So if you have an extension request for tourist visa pending, I wouldn't really worry about it uh, until a decision is made. And hopefully uh, you could leave before even a decision is made anyway, so it just cleans it up right there. But all it does when you file it is you're in a peer of authorized stay, which means uh, are not, uh, you're not acc accumulating unlawful presence days if the case is properly filed. Uh, and it's, it's kind of a technical thing, it's kind of hard for you to understand because there's a lot more legal stuff going on uh, involved in that. Uh, but that's the basic of it. I wouldn't be afraid of, of being illegal or something like that if you submitted the case, got a receipt, and it's pending.